I'm going to do an Ascension Energy update today. So I'm going to tap into the energies, connect with the spirit realm, and then we'll see what the message is for all of us. Okay, I'm going to relax now. It's, it feels like a complicated heart. It feels like a grandfather clock that has stopped working correctly. The clock is still chiming, but it's sort of stuck on a time. And the chime doesn't follow itself all the way through into the next minutes and hours. It's like time is stuck. I see shattered glass that is still holding itself together. I see a man running away in a world that has no time. So is he going to be running away forever? I don't understand who he's running away from. Is he running away from himself? Is he running away from difficult life experiences? Is he running away from painful emotions? Not knowing what to do and just wanting to run away from it all. If time is stopped, what does that actually mean? <laughs> So in this scene, I experience kind of like a winding, um, there's like a, some kind of crinkling um, in a fist that's getting tighter and tighter and things are just getting more and more crunched in there. Um, the clock never kind of gets out of its chime and it's stuck. Now there's this, next to this, there is a, a different way, another approach. It's almost like uh, we're trying to breathe through a tangle in the heart. And we're working with meditation. We're working with light. Literally. Asking different colors to help us. Asking the element of air to refresh our minds. Um, to purify our blood. I mean, and this is a physical request. This is I'm working on breath in order to work through stress, extreme stress, anxiety, fear, working on breath. And in the breath, there is light. And I see a lot of white light, but I see the opportunity to connect with different colors of light. And every color of light has a unique personality. And there's every type of orange personality, every type of green personality. It's kind of interesting to discover um, what personality in the green collective that you could work with today. It's like making new friends in the most unsuspecting places. And time is also stopped here, but it doesn't feel broken, like, like something um, uncomfortable, um, is revolving around this issue. It's almost like uh, this broken grandfather clock um, is all of, the, uh, all of what is wrong with the world today. And nobody to fix the problem. And we're all stuck here. You know, it's like this uh, twilight zone nightmare. But over here, it's there's no time either. But it's not because time itself is broken. Um, because we are choosing to breathe. We are choosing to heal. We are expanding our horizons and working with different energies in order to work through these knots in the heart. I mean, there literally is a light and dark side right now. There literally is. It's hard to decide... Are we working with just one side? Um, are we working with both sides? Are we getting kind of wavering in between? Um, I, I can do this. I can work through this. Uh, I hate life. 
not working through this right now. Spirit guides, you guys suck. Finding the strength. Okay, I can breathe through this. I can work on this. Only to bounce back to chaos. <laughs> Only to find the strength to come back into the light. Only to lose oneself and find yourself back in the broken time um, twilight zone nightmare. Is it possible that we are kind of weaving in between these two realities? But um, there's a very kind uh, man who is coming from this breathable place. And he is overlaying this breathable place over top of the broken time space. And he says, both are happening simultaneously. You'll either feel the connection with this peaceful place or you'll feel the connection with this chaos place. You can tune into if you're feeling the chaos place. Do what you can to stop and go into a meditation if possible and to work on breathing. Literally, even find YouTube videos. There's so many experts out there that teach you how to breathe. There's so many different types of breathing techniques. It seems like getting oxygen, more fresh air, oxygen in the blood. Um, is it possible that a change in our relationship with the outdoors, wearing masks, could that be um, we're getting less oxygen? Um, they say that that's not what's happening, but I mean, there's a definite difference between going out and getting fresh air and then getting fresh air with a mask on. So this could, I mean, there's just something about the word oxygen and breathing, meditation, interacting with energy colors, personalities in the spirit realm that are cheerful and bright. Um, now we could choose to feel the chaos though. You have the right to choose to feel that and, and you can feel that even if you don't want to. Even if you're choosing not to feel that. But there's always the overlay. So you're always in this place of breathability. Always. So what we're going to do is we're going to help everybody um, today. And we're going to help you. Any aspects of you that are struggling with this chaos um, illusion. Okay, it's going to feel pretty darn real, but it's going to be part of the illusion. We're, we're creating more of an amplification of the true reality with the oxygen and the peacefulness and the fresh air energy. Peace of mind, inner peace, meditation. There's kind of a Zen vibe to it. All right, I see the next thing. It is, a, I don't know how to describe this Im image. It's very wrong looking. It's a body that is sounds like a screaming rat. And the body is gyrating. Like, bleh, 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 <laughs> like it's being electrocuted from the inside. Um, but I see this as a transformation process. It looks disturbing. It looks wrong. But actually what's going on is a breakdown. Breakdown of identity. Breakdown of ego. Breakdown of the facades and it's freaking painful and it feels like you're being burned alive electrocuted ripped apart you have screaming selves on the inside but what's actually happening is you're getting lots of fresh air it's all coming in it's transforming all the facades the facades still have to break down so we're in the reality of chaos and everything that's wrong with the world all the while so much fresh air and we're ascending <laughs> that's what I'm being shown. But this is to help us to really feel vibrationally tuned into the reality. So when it's getting painful is actually when you're going through the transformation. Um, you're going through a massive healing, a purging of the old, a rising above. <laughs> Uh, it's going into a little bit darker. So the screaming rat was kind of like, I mean, it was a fat pig of a person screaming rat. I mean, there's a lot of negative talk in here. A lot of disgust, turning my nose up, you filthy person, you disgusting person. Like there's a lot of this negative energy here. And so it's really like... Um, disturbing, wrong, gross, I don't want to look at it, the problems of the world, ew, yuck. 
but it's yourself. It's me. It's everybody. It's the breakdown of the facades, the ego. Um, what isn't actually true to our soul. Which is all of this. These commentaries, you know? But as this breakdown happens, it's like before death. It is like the agonizing pain. The struggle for the last breath. The desire to release the last breath and be done with this. The agonizing pain of transition. It's the death phase. It's absolutely horrific. It's, it's like a, a rotting carcass that can't speak, that can't move, but is in tremendous pain. And there's basically rats and mice eating the, at the carcass, and the pain is excruciating. Again, this is the stuff we need to let go of. This is the facades that aren't working for us anymore. This is the lies we are telling ourselves that we don't even realize yet. We're figuring it out. We're seeing stuff that worked that aren't that isn't working now because we're changing. We're becoming new people. The world is changing. There's the domino effect happening. We're all growing together. We can let this go. We can let this go now. Because what we truly want is to feel this resuscitation, to feel the breath, to feel the tranquility, to feel the light, to feel the colors and all their personalities as our best friends support us through this experience because they are here supporting us through this experience. In the physical realm, in the spirit realm, there are pets, there are the random animals, um, we see in the parking lot like there there are family there are friends there are co-workers they're they're everywhere <laughs> sometimes it really feels like you're choked and cut off from all that love but that is again this process of break it all breaking down and letting go there can be stuff you don't even understand consciously what it is that you're letting go of This message is to help us. <sighs> to help us bring an understanding to the conscious level that, that there's this overlay, there is this, the problems of the world are actually what's breaking down inside of ourselves. It's the facade, it's the ego. And that we all are ascending. And that what's really here is a lot of fresh air, fresh oxygen, meditation but you also it's encouraging you to really explore doing this at least once a day for five minutes even like if you never meditate and now you're saying okay i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna meditate for five minutes a day that is adding an ingredient of love into your life you're choosing to do it it's a physical action that you're participating in which is helping you to learn and grow how do you meditate you literally just sit there so many different ways to do it You can create an image of a persona. Could be a male or a female, could be an angel, could be a fairy, could be a galactic family member. And all they're doing is simply hugging you in your imagination and you're just crying with them holding you and you feel the love of all inside of them that they're surrounding you with as you struggle to be that for yourself right now. That is one simple five-minute meditation right there. It's playing pretend, but it's activating your emotions, your feelings. You can allow yourself to imagine you're just stepping into a, a blue flame of energy, a golden flame of energy. And just inhale the healing light. This isn't going to burn you. This is going to purify you inside and out. And, it, and allow it to be received. Don't just imagine it, but feel the presence of it around you and within you 
as a guide, as a collective, as a master of pure love, a consciousness that cares about you. You participate in this imaginative event. That is how you do active meditation. It's not just about imagining. It's about participating in the experience. And you could just simply sit there and talk to yourself in a very calm and relaxed environment where it's just you. And you can just say things. That can be meditative because it's, it's winding down. It's getting it out of yourself. It's hearing yourself talk about the things that you are living inside of you that you just don't say. That is also effective. All right. There's so many different ways. I hope this helps. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. You can check out my other two YouTube channels. One is Abby Psychic Services. The other is Zodiac Energy Readings. You can also find me at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Have a wonderful day. Have a happy Thanksgiving for those celebrating. Take care for now.